Hello and welcome to the 2017 Sea Otter Classic. We're trying to figure out what the hell is a power meter? My name is Matt Pasoka. Uh, I work for stages, but I'm also a mountain biker. So Pink Bike wants to know about the basics of how a power meter works. Basically what we're doing is measuring the amount of force a rider is putting through their crank arm. Within the stages power meter, we have two basic devices. First is the strain gauge. The strain gauge allows us to measure the amount of force a rider is putting through the crank arm. So a strain gauge has a, a very low voltage run through it. And if you think about the wires of a strain gauge that are containing that voltage as a garden hose, as you bend and flex your crank arm, the resistance changes. So it'd be like, pulling a garden hose really tight, it, it, it constricts the flow of the water going through it. Or if you compressed it, it obviously would allow that water to flow more freely. Um, and that's ultimately what we're doing with electricity, uh, using a tiny coin cell 2032 battery. Uh, and that flow of current is uh, modified when you're bending the crank arm. So that's how we're understanding the amount of force you're putting into the crank arm. The second component we need to measure power is an accelerometer. Much like you would have in your smartphone to change from portrait to landscape, we're using that device to measure how fast you're pedaling. Once you have those two metrics, then you can calculate power. It's as simple as that. And for our solution, because we are only measuring on a single side or one leg, uh, we're simply assuming symmetry within the rider and doubling that measured uh, figure. From there, we're processing that data and then sending it to a cycling computer, a head unit of some sort, either a stages dash or maybe a Garmin device. We see power as a metric as the best way for a rider to improve their performance. And that could be any sort of performance from sprinting out of corners on World Cup downhill to cross country racing over long distances in a marathon. Today we've learned about measuring power, using a strain gauge to see force, using an accelerometer to understand the cadence a rider's pedaling at, Bluetooth and ANT protocols to beam that information to your GPS head unit, and then we take those and we use that data on a cloud-based analytics platform to understand the rides you're doing, build training plans, uh, and ultimately get better. So riding with power uh, is, is just that, it's a way to get better. Well, there we go. We hope you guys learned something about power meters. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check you later.